Hi. Today we will be discussing on how to connect TeamViewer as an administrator. So let's say, for example, you want to connect to a user's computer or to someone's or a friend computer as an administrator to be able to do some functionality on that computer as an administrator. Because if you connect to a computer and the user is not an administrator on that computer, you will not be able to install like some software or some other applications. So for example, let's say I want to connect to this computer as an administrator. But the first thing you need to do is this. You need to go to extras options here on a security you have to make sure that on a windows logon that the allow for administrators only is selected if not you will not be able to connect to this computer as an administrator because if this is not set or not allowed let me just click ok and i try to connect to this computer here and i say connect and I try to go to under option, if for example I go to Windows, you can see I cannot even click on this because it has been grayed out. So if I try to connect right now, it's going to fail. It's going to fail because it's going to tell me that no, it's not correct. So what, what I need to do is this. I will need to go to this computer here and click options and click security and under not allow just change to allow for administrator only or you also allow for all users which i will not advise you to allow this for all users just click allow for administrators only so but if you provide someone this password they will still be able to connect to this computer let me just give an example let me try to connect to the computer again so i just click on team viewer and i have the password I should be able to connect to the computer so but if i want to connect to that computer just as an administrator so what i need to do is this so i need to go to connect again and here i go to advance to windows and here you can see it's now clickable so i need to just tap my or you can as well tap if you know the um, local um, name for example is a local administrator account and you can tap the password and then connect as a local administrator but if this is a domain environment i can decide to just tap my domain name and then backslash then tap my admin name and then enter my password and now click logon And here you can see I've been logged on to this computer as a domain administrator. So if I go to, for example, let me just try something. Let me go to PowerShell here. Let me search for PowerShell. If it's going to let me just search for PowerShell. Okay. And I try to start this as an administrator. So it's going to actually request for the administrator password and then I can actually enter my name and then password and here we go. But if I didn't do that, sometimes you may not even have that that pop up you just I, I get which I was I'm now able to enter my admin credentials. You will not see it. Only the user will see the um we see that pop up because now it will be asking the user to enter his domain credentials you will not see that so that's why it's advisable to actually log on to a computer in which we, which you know you want to administer as a domain credential or if you have the local admin account you can use that to actually connect to the computer so thank you very much for watching my video my name is kelvin Johnson, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more IT related video. And please, if this video has been of any help to you, please don't forget to give me a like and a thumb up, and I will appreciate it a lot. So, if you have any comment, please just leave it behind and I will respond as quick as possible. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. See you next time.